Well, it was a tough game last week against Geisley for a lot of reasons, and it's been tough, I know, for the fans this week as, as they stew over it. What's the mood been like in the camp? Uh, really positive. I think that ultimately we, our job was to get through. We don't obviously, you know, we wanted to win, obviously, in a, in, a, in better circumstances for sure. Um, but I think the character at the end to, to come through it. I think the character before the game with with what happened in terms of Luther and having to move the team around and getting severely tested in in that department. Um, but the way they dealt with it, I thought for you know it was a it was a it was a typical FA Cup game where, where they raised their levels and we've seen teams get knocked out over this weekend. Is they're not easy games at all, and for us it was about getting through. We did that, not in the way that we obviously want to do it, and, and we we wanted to put in a performance obviously. But you know we've got through the next round, and um, and that was ultimately the aim. Of, of the day, but uh, yeah, there's there's obviously a lot to work on, and, and things that we've gone through, but um, you know we're, we're in the next round. You've mentioned the injuries; you've got to move on to them straight away. What's the latest then? Luther had a special injury, and I guess is it Nathan Thompson, Louis Thompson? <laughs> there's a handful of them. Yeah, we've been we've been really tested. Uh, you know, to have eight, nine big, big, big players out of this squad has, has tested us for sure. It was, it was a difficult week with three games and three big games in terms of, of the th kind of stature of the game. So uh, to lose those players has been really tough. And we obviously, people had to step up. Um, and that week felt quite a long week in terms of results. But I think if anyone in this league has eight, nine starters out of their their team at any level. We're seeing it with Man City at the moment where they've got players out and just lost three on the spin and um, it takes it out of you, as it tests you for sure. Um, but I think that the, 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 the players that have been out, you know, for this longer period, hopefully we're starting to see some signs of, of them, you know, returning soon. Um, not yet, but obviously, in the, hopefully within two, three weeks, we'll start to see those guys start to train and, and start returning back to where we need them to be. Um, you know, Nathan Thompson, again, has been in and out this week and training, but he's been out for, for a while. And we also know that when he came in, the amount of games and the intensity of the games he played and he put in some incredible performances but we have to be really careful with, with these players when they're coming back. Yes, you know, we need them because in, especially in that department uh, we need them back to, to give us that physicality, that strength, our, our solid unit back but um, we also have to be really careful that, it, that we don't re-injure them through coming back too soon. So, so it's, it's obviously been a, a challenging time and but you know, they all want to get back. They're extremely disappointed to be injured and, and seeing, you know, that that for some reason it's happened in the same department. And um, but they 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 are frustrated because they want to get back playing and um, they're doing everything they can to get back within the squad. Got Reading this weekend. Um, I remember coming back from Exeter a couple of months ago um, as I was driving along through, I was listening to all the radio stations, the radio talk show at the time, having a real go at Reading, it was just after Ruby Sellers had come out and spoke about the whole situation, and since then, what a run we've been on, it's going to be, it's a reminder that tomorrow's going to be a really tough game. Yeah, they're, they're full of, you know, they're a team full of real quality, I know, you know, they've got um, the struggles in terms of off the pitch and in terms of everything that's kind of been publicised, but on it, they've got real quality. They've got a manager that, that has got a real excellent uh, reputation and, and, and is working under those circumstances and producing um, performances with, 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 with really you know, good players. So we know it's a challenge. We, we obviously last year didn't, didn't have the right results in either game against them. Um, and obviously we know that, that it is a, it's, a, it's a challenge. But I think that we know now that in terms of within the dressing room, you know, we need some big performances. We need big performances, and they know that. Um, 
and like I say, with, with, with the challenge that we've faced within terms of people that are fit and ready to play, we've tried to be as level as we can in terms of managing the group because, <clears throat> again, we're, we're, we're asking people to play many minutes that maybe haven't have played or um, hasn't had that run. Kane Smith, for instance, has never had this run in League One in his entire career. And he's having to play every near enough every minute of every game and produce performances uh, every game. And he's never had to do that before. So we have to keep those players going in terms of confidence and, and, and keep believing in their performances. Um, but we know that it's a, it, it's a great game for us. The crowd will be up. You know, I know they've sold out. I know our fans will be ready for it. And um, we have to step up. We have to produce a performance because losing's not acceptable for us um, and um, we have to step up and, and, and get back to playing our way and, and, and winning. You see, you see a step up as well, you're missing a lot of you know, big characters, the likes of Carl Pierre Johnny, the likes of Danny Sweeney. You're going to need some of these players who perhaps are un, a little bit undone under the spotlights slightly to really stand up and put their hand up and say, right, follow me. Let's go. Absolutely, you need leaders. We've lost, we've lost leaders, natural leaders, people that have been here for you know two and a half years now, two years that understand what we're based on, and everybody knows what we're based on. We're based on our DNA of, of athleticism in terms of our power, our strength in terms of our our back units being you know so reliable. Nineteen clean sheets last year. It doesn't. It tells us a story. It paints a picture for us. And at the start of the season, you know the way that we started this year, clean sheets. Um, and we have to get back to that. But with that, you know, there is that, that we've lost those players. We have lost those types that, that are so renowned for the way they defend here and, and so hard to beat. And, it, it, you know, we, we didn't plan for that in terms of in the off-season or, or even building into these games to be able to lose, you know, four of our centre-backs that have been so, so outstanding, brilliant for us as a football club. So we've had to adjust, we've had to adapt. Um, and now, absolutely, you're right. We, we, we need players to, to step up. And all of the things that you look for when you, when you lose games, you, you do start looking even deeper. When you win, it's easy to come in and things just roll. But when you lose, you are look, you're looking at everything. You're looking at you know, pictures, you're looking at all sorts of things to try and change it or to, to see what, what's, what's different. But the, the clear thing is, is that as, a, as, as principals and as staff, we try to maintain what we're trying to do every day. That's what we try and achieve. And we try to make sure that this group come in every day. They work, we work to, with a purpose. They work together. And when we finish every day, we look and look back and go, right, they're better or we've improved on something today to make us better Saturday. And, and that's all you can do. And um, like I say, yes, positive in terms of their work, but also the spirit and, and just the focus today was, was, was excellent, ready, and, and they look ready to, to go and, and go and perform on, on, on Saturday. And just finally, um, Monday, I know you were at MQ Arena yourself watching yeah. the FA Youth Cup 4 0 win for Stephen Ed. It was an excellent performance, and I came away feeling very uplifted. I mean, how did you feel about watching it? Yeah, really, really proud. I think that they could, I thought the performance was outstanding. I think that, um, I think within the academy, it's, um, it's their nervous days, their nerve-wracking days. I was sort of speaking to Jordan and he was up and down the gantry. But um, yeah, there, there are days where, you know, it's all about winning, I think. And, that, and that's kind of the time when they really feel that winning environment that you have to win to get through to the next round. And I think that the, the, the performance and, and their, their, again, their spirit that, that is about this football club was, was fantastic to see. And um, yeah, really proud of everyone down there because they worked so hard. And not that they don't go unnoticed at all, but as in, for, that's when they're in the spotlight. And uh, yeah, as, as a club, we, we're, we're really proud of that and, and, and to, for them to move on to the next round.